Barack, we're here to send a clear message to you. We're not gonna we're not gonna give up until Bashar al-Assad is gone. You need to stand up for human rights. These are the fundamental principles that our country's always stood for. And how much more blood do we have to be shed see shed until you take some action? Uh, we've got Hussam Ayluj from the great state of California, is that right? Yes, Los Angeles area. All right, excellent. Hussam, if you could send one message to the President of the United States and members of Congress regarding Syria, what would it be? Well, the message is, as Americans of Syrian background, we expect our government to stand for what is right, for American values, human values, and that is freedom, democracy, justice, and dignity. The Syrian people are putting their lives on the line to demand a simple thing, and that is freedom, democracy, f dignity, and justice. The least we can do is to show them support and tell them your lives matter. Every human life in Syria is important. And at least the least we can do is to, to protect them, uh, put pressure on Russia and China, work with the Arab League, work with the Muslim countries uh, to make sure that we can create safe zones uh, to make sure to allow the Syrians to become free. And let's pick up on that, Hussam. Uh, you're, you're a great thinker, you're a great leader in the, in the Syrian Arab American community. Uh, what, what, what's your opinion regarding the calls from McCain, Lieberman and uh, Senator Lindsey Graham? From, from day one, we've wanted for this uh, revolution to be peaceful, to be nonviolent. And I think the Syrian people have proven that uh, nonviolence is something they really stand by. Uh, they've given 10,000 lives for that. Uh, not too many revolutions in the world can, can, can take that claim. Uh, but at this point, the Syrian people should be allowed to at least to practice self-defense. And if, 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 if that self-defense means defecting soldiers being armed to defend themselves and defend their, uh, their, their people, their communities, uh, let it be. Uh, we still don't want it to be a violent military revolution, uh, but every human life, every human being uh, is entitled to self-defense. If that doesn't work, then we'll address other options. But at, at this point, I think the Syrian people, if they're armed to defend themselves, are more than capable uh, to make this revolution a victorious one. Now, Hassan, I'm going to end on one more, okay? There's a, the, the arguments are that Number one, we should do this for moral purposes. But assuming, arguendo, that the government doesn't want to do it for moral purposes, how about for strategic purposes and the potential for terroristic and extremist elements to infiltrate? Can you comment on that? I think anybody who knows a little bit about the politics of the Middle East knows that the Assad regime has been the number one destabilizing regime in the region. Uh, supporting all sorts of instability in the region. Uh, of course, uh, denying freedom, denying democracy. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's about creating, uh, using the issue of the, the Middle East conflict, the Arab-Israeli conflict, uh, for its own purpose. It has never been interested in a just peace. It was never interested in, in helping the Palestinians achieve just peace, which is something that anybody who cares about peace in the region should be seeking. The regime, unfortunately, has used this issue uh, to, to deny freedom to the people of, of, of Syria, but also to manipulate the Palestinian people to create internal conflict, uh, to pressure the U.S., and, 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 and we know so many cases where the, actually the Syrian and the Libyan regime have supported actual acts of terror against innocent civilians in the U.S., in Europe, and other places in order to make themselves relevant. So it is a strategic interest for the U.S. to ensure that there is democracy and there is a human rights protection in that region because the, the result of lack of that had been the growing extremism and the dealing with ex extremists like Al-Qaeda. Hussam, as always, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, President Obama, members of Congress, you heard it directly from the mouth of one of the great leaders and thinkers of our Syrian American community. We need your help to stop. If you don't do it for moral purposes, then you must do it for strategic purposes as Syria is greatly positioned to be in a vital region and a great vital ally. Thank you very much. Thanks, Hussam. Thank you. You bet.